Quality Gaming Gear. You've heard us talk about it on the program before over the years. Creates products to give gamers the competitive edge and at prices they can afford. Some of them can really afford lots of cool things, including our guest, because he's got, check this, 12-time eSports world champion and founder CEO of Fatality Gaming Gear and Fatality... That, well, it is Fatality Gaming Gear. It's just on my information twice for some reason. Uh, maybe they really wanted me to enforce that. Jonathan Fatality Wendell, <laughs> welcome back into tomorrow. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you very much, Dave. Uh, pleasure to be here. It's always fun chatting with you because not only do you have a heck of a following that says, oh, thank you for letting us hear more from Jonathan because this is so cool. Uh, gaming alone, if, if you're at all into gaming, people know who you are because you have been doing this so long. But first of all, 12-time eSports world champion, that says a lot in and of itself. I mean, you've had some exciting times. Yeah, I mean, uh, being at the, one of the pioneers of the eSports movement, um, you know, from uh, going professional back in 1999, uh, I just, you know, travel the world and kind of being the Johnny Appleseed, uh, spreading the word about how much esports is growing, how it's going to explode. And uh, you see now with tournaments on ESPN and whatnot, uh, they're really, uh, esports is really taking hold with the mainstream audience, I believe. Oh, boy, I, I think that's probably an understatement because yeah, yeah. You, you're right. You've really helped people really grasp this end of, of entertainment and escapes from reality and things of that sort and get really pumped about gaming. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the things we're doing in the video games are, uh, to some people, extremely exciting. It's just like watching a, a guy hit a home run or a slam dunk. Uh, the things that uh, some people can do in this virtual world is uh, truly amazing. And watching their hand-eye coordination and reflexes and strategy as a team uh, work as one unit, uh, all those things are very attractive to a lot of different people. And, and, and we've talked about this before when you've been on the show. I've never been a gamer myself, you know, and, and you know, not ashamed to admit it. It's just oh, yeah. not my thing, and some people are like that. My dad doesn't uh, play either. So. Da, there you go. Your dad doesn't play either. And, uh, and his last, I think when we last spoke, you bought him a house and everything I else. I bought him a, a Cadillac uh, car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. so, I mean, you take care of your parents, but the fact is they're not into gaming, but they yeah. know that you are, and it's making a nice life for the family. Yeah. Not a bad thing. But what also really got to me early on years ago is if I'm not only not really into gaming, but I'm certainly not into watching someone else play a game. But, wow, has that kind of crowd grown yeah. people are amazed at like wa especially watching someone like yourself winning world championships and just your technique and how you get into it and your passion for what you do you have your own audience of folks that just say hey just play a game i want to watch you know fatality play a game yeah i think for me it was uh you know people really enjoyed my fire and my energy uh, when i went to tournaments uh you could see uh you know P people were afraid to play against me, so a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, would be shaking already before I would play them and so forth. But uh, so you I, wouldn't let me win, especially a non-gamer. No, uh, there's no, no chance. No, no. Not a chance. Yeah. Not, not even poor Dave. Let's give him a little credit. A little. We, uh, you know. The great thing about <laughs> playing against me is I'm always going to try my hardest in anything I do. Really. And. Uh, and but that's what people like. They like the to kind of like put a benchmark and like let's play against this person and see how it goes. So mm -hmm. I used to do shootouts a long time ago, uh, you know, with playing against the crowd and whatnot. We're doing a little bit of gaming here at CES, but we're mainly working on the new partnership with Monster and uh, showing off our new uh, gaming headsets. Yes, which is a nice segue. Well, it's as if you've done this sort of thing <laughs> before. Check out these beautiful Fatality headsets and in in an awesome black and red style. And this is, of course, a gaming headset that if you're into gaming, you want. Uh, obviously, it's not just a headset. It's a headset with a mic. Looks a lot like the professional broadcast mics that, that <laughs> we, you and I have on right yeah, now, yeah. Uh, except mu much more colorful. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the this headset. So um, one of the things uh, I work on, uh, you know, all the Fatality Gaming Gear products are built from the ground up. Uh, so uh, working on the headset, uh, we're trying to create a very versatile headset. So in this product uh, specifically, uh, in the FXM 100 series and 200 series, which you have in your hands right here right now, mm -hmm. uh, they work on PC, Xbox, PS4, mobile gaming, all, a lot of all gaming in one headset. Nice. And we use uh, a short 46 uh, Int, inch cable, so it's really good for slack. Uh, it's really good for slack. So you cut me some slack too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good for slack when you have the control in your hand, uh, when you're uh, 
uh, playing on all your different devices. Yeah. No, this is awesome. And these are available now? Uh, they're not available yet. Uh, you're holding one of the six. They are uh, handmade. Wow. Uh, and, uh, so uh, don't expect to leave the broadcast booth with these. Yeah. You've got to be able to say, check, uh, check out the fatality. But, we uh, might even wear them. <laughs> they'll go into full production probably here next uh, month, and we'll have them ready for sale uh, end of March, uh, 1st of April. And, of course, on the top of the band, pure monster sound. Yeah. So you know they sound good. And with the fatality brand on them, you know they're quality because you're not going to let your name get out there if it's not something you're comfortable with. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, one of the great things about the Fatality uh, brand is that we always look at uh, making a product for, uh, you know, great sound, affordable for the gamer. Um, also, uh, the versatility of the headset. We also think of aesthetics, how it looks and how it feels when you buy a product, a Fatality product. So when you buy this product, uh, it's great for gaming. It looks sleek, has a good design to it. It's not geeky and blocky like uh, other uh, gaming headphones. But the one of the cool things here is that we have to realize that gamers have a life outside of the game. No, and that's not true. <laughs> yeah, 100% Most true. gamers that I know, other than you, because you're a, an entrepreneur and everything else, yeah. but a lot of them, it's like, what? Well, no, I, they just can't wait till the next time they're gaming, period. But well, the thing <laughs> is, people have a life on the go. These gamers are not only gaming at their, at their computer or at their uh, console, but they're also playing on their mobile device on the go. So mm. uh, we created a really cool feature, which uh, is their movable microphone. So it literally, okay, for those listening on the radio, not yet seeing the video, he literally just unplugged the boom mic that easy. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's, a, it's another little uh, eighth-inch type plug. I'm not sure what camera to show there. There you go. Chris got it on this. And then, it, uh, no doubt, similarly, easily plugs right back in. Yeah. And there you go. Now, that's clever. pretty cool, huh? Yeah, because others, even if they could disconnect, were, you know, a cable and you have to They always the side and right. so forth. Yeah. So I'm always looking for uh, ways to innovate and create uh, tools for gamers to use uh, on an everyday manner and have one pair of headphones instead of having a couple of different pairs of headphones. So this feature I created uh, uh, is uh, definitely useful in that Oh, regard. for sure. D uh, I don't remember because I've been so excited about the new headset as well. Uh, did we talk about a, an expected price for the models available when, yes, they, when so, they're out? Yes, so the FXM100 will go for $69.99, okay. uh, oh. so very affordable for yes. the gamers. So we, yeah. we really work really hard on that because, uh, you know, not every gamer has $300 to sp spend on a pair of headphones. Yeah. Uh, so we they're, they're busy spending it on entry fees <laughs> for gaming. <laughs> <laughs> or, or even the, the system itself. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, uh, so it's a very great purchase, very versatile, so uh, a gamer would buy it, a parent would buy it for their uh, kids or someone else at games. Um, and then also the FXM 200 model, which I have here in my hand, uh, is uh, going for $99.99. It's still very affordable. And, yeah. and again, the quality difference uh, at that uh, point for a few bucks? The quality difference is you get uh, on the uh, 100 model, you get like a suede uh, cushion for the ears and then the uh, this series, the 200 series, you get a leatherette. Um, the other thing is a removable microphone. On the 200 series, you also get a mic in the dongle. Oh, okay. So it's kind of built in as well. So your simple uh, cell phone calls as if anybody uses their cell phone yeah. for talking anymore, right? But, yeah. but it's good to have. Yep. Yeah. It's a cool feature to have uh, f you know, for the gamers out there. So uh, like I said, this is a very versatile gaming headset, yeah. uh, different than uh, any other. It, i got to ask you again. I know we've talked about it on the show before, but for those that, that either don't recall or never heard, uh, what's the origin of, of your gamer tag of Fatality, which is, by the way, F-A-T-A-L, the number one T-Y. Yeah, so I was uh, a big fan of Mortal Kombat as a kid when I was like 12 years old, 11 or 12, and I used to log on BBSs back when I had 2400 bottom modem. BBSs, yeah. wow, so you're I, back memories. I was, uh, yeah. bef you know, before the internet, uh, you know, I, I was trying to figure out an alias, and uh, in everything I did, you know, playing Mortal Kombat or pl uh, playing sports, uh, Fatality is kind of final. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a winning moment. Uh, so Fatality Gaming Gear is, you know, basically a person who has a relentless pursuit of winning, uh, has that winning attitude and has that fire to win so uh, uh, so you can own the game. So this is uh, kind of our messaging with the Fatality program, and it kind of rings true because that's kind of my whole career. I've, you know, like I said, I'm, even with you, if I was playing a match against you, I would uh, try my hardest always. Yeah, and as, as well you should. I mean, in all fairness, you know, I wouldn't want you to just give in, especially yeah. since I'd have no, cl no chance <laughs> in, any, in any environment. Even if you were blindfolded and, and one hand behind your back the whole bit, yeah. you'd still clobber me, I'm Thank sure. You. you have to check out not only all the cool things that Vitality is involved in, but especially his very cool branded gear of all sorts. It's a lot more than just headsets. <laughs> yeah, we make a Vitality gaming motherboards, uh, fatality power supply units. We basically uh, try to make products uh, 
to give to gamers uh, to help improve their experience. So uh, my motto is you're only as good as your equipment. Uh, so, uh, you know, working with Noel Lee on this project uh, alone uh, brings in his, we uh, un- brings our unrivaled uh, perspective on audio for the gamer and from the audiophile. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the things that we have to go through just to make a headphone with Monster uh, is an extremely long checklist. Yeah, checklist. well, the head monster being an engineer, yeah. uh, you so know that it's, it's going to be done right. It's so. awesome to work with someone so professional. Sure. So I'm very excited about working on this project. Well, tell Noel we said hello as well. He's been on the show recently as a month or so ago, too. And uh, we look forward to more cool things, as always, coming out from you. Thank you very much, Dave. It's our pleasure. Visit fatality.com. But remember, it's F-A-T-A-L, the number one T-Y. Dot com. Very easy to get to. We'll link you there, too, when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. We're back with more of our 21st year broadcasting from CES here in Las Vegas. Yes, I'm looking up at the PixPro 360-degree camera as well. Got to come and check that out as Into Tomorrow continues from our broadcast booth on the show floor at CES 2016 right here on the Advanced Media Network.